Presented by PrinceKCups.com. Taped live and in color from Studio 505 at the Tribeca Flashpoint Academy in beautiful downtown Chicago, Illinois. It's Steve Gatlin's Star Makers. When you feel so full of talent And you've got that special pep When Hollywood and Broadway are calling you And you want to take that very first step I'll see Gatlin's Star Makers The spotlight shining bright. Get out there, you shoot it, star and sparkle through the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see Gatlin Star Makers. So loud. I'll see Gatlin Star Makers. You're wow with the crowd. See Gatlin Star Makers. See Gatlin Star Makers. See Gatlin Star Makers. Yeah. And now your host, Steve. My favorite thing that trains do is rip down the rails like they sure mean business. I'd love to be an engineer, wouldn't you? Well, tonight I get to engineer an evening featuring tomorrow's stars of Hollywood and or Broadway. These are people who have had to train hard to be so talented. You won't be able to sit stationary because you'll want to jump in chair. Whoops, I better stay on track. Before we shout, all aboard, let's collect tickets from our printcakeups.com studio audience, Tom Abraham and Claire McFadden. Our first performers tonight have such unique talents, I don't even know how to describe them. Let's just say there will be hoops, wheels, and talents that will leave you saying, I told you so. Maybe tomorrow at the water cooler, you'll want to talk about this performance with your coworkers, and you can bet they'll have plenty to say about the topic. Here's Melissa Talita and Shanae Sturba.
Melissa, Shanae, come join me here at the intersection of Hollywood and or Broadway. Thanks for being on Steve Thank Gadlin's you. Star Makers. Of course. Uh, how embarrassing was it to walk out and realize you were wearing the same outfit today? Oh, <laughs> terrible. I couldn't believe it. Well, and tell me, how long have you been practicing this amazing and unique talent? Um, actually, I've been doing it since I was in second grade. Um, it was a circus, actually, program that I grew up with, so Thermidor Circus. Well, it sure was entertaining to watch. We're so happy we had you guys on the show. And when you think custom coffee gifts, think printkcups.com. With custom flavors and designs, their personalized single-serve coffee cups are sure to please clients, friends, and all the coffee lovers in your life. Printkcups.com for all your custom coffee gifting. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more. at Tilted Kilt Pub in Eatery. It's more than our 30 craft and bottled beers. Or our mouth-watering menu. It's the best-looking sports pub you've ever seen. Tilted Kilt Pub in Eatery. A cold beer never looks so good. It's the Smarty Pants Balloon Kit! You get the pump, you get the book, you get the balloons, you get everything to make everything! A dog, a cat, this hat, a monkey, a sword, a mouse, even this house! You get everything to make everything! Be more fun at work! Be more fun at school! Be more fun at parties! You get everything to make everything! Order now and receive double the balloons! You learn by doing. The great thing that you guys do here at Flashpoint is exactly that. I don't think you could be here for too long without the sort of infectious nature of everyone being hungry to learn. Tribeca Flashpoint is set up in a way where the whole direction of the school is preparing the students for the real world. Show people that you're willing to do anything for what you want to do. No fear, no greed, no empathy. Don't be fooled by this next talent. Breakdancing doesn't mean these dancers are going to break anything, except maybe your expectations for a really good time. Breakdancing is a new kind of dancing that tricks your brain into thinking you're watching an, an optical illusion. You've never seen bodies move like this before, I guarantee it. And breakdancers always have really cool names, so you know they're breakdancers and not just regular dancers. Here are B-Boy Vintage and BMA to astound with some break dancing.
BMA and B-Boy Vintage. Come on and join me at the intersection to Hollywood and or Broadway. Thanks so much for being on Steve Gadlin's Star Makers. Thank you for the practice. That was great. Wow, that was sure exciting to watch. And you know, with dance, every great dance tells a story. What's the story you were telling with this break dance today? Dancing. Uh, I'm going to go with Adi, dancing. Dancing. Well, that's a, that's a story I'd like to read twice. Uh, you know, another thing is that the human body is such a mystery, isn't it? And one thing dance helps us do is explore all the, all the hidden corners. How does, how does that work for you? Well, dancing has really helped me explore my body. It's amazing. Yeah, there was a story there, actually, now that I think about it. Hip-hop and breakdancing brings people together. So as you saw, Adi and I were battling, and then we became friends over it. Yeah, I think I followed that story, and I'd like to watch it again. That was wonderful, and thanks for being on our show. I can't remember ever having such an eclectic group of tomorrow stars of Hollywood and or Broadway on our show. Let's move from breakdancing to its musical cousin, rap. Rapsters do with words what breakdancers do with their bodies. Bend them around and, and take you on a journey with a surprise around every corner. Here's rapster Marcus Alexander with his original rap, Recovery. What's going on, everybody? I go by the stage name of Marcus Alexander. This song is called Recovery. It's a very personal track, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Ready? My heart's torn in pieces, I'm reaching for things I need to try to bury my feelings, too discouraged for kneeling. I'm pleading with a higher power, then my pain will dissolve. Feeling way too complex to solve, man, I'm way too involved. Huh. How do you combat an addiction that's risen to the very top of your vices, ignoring the vices? Cause no one knows the pain, they say to pray it off, just talk. Feels like it's grabbing my balls and telling me to cough. I'm stuck in a cycle that makes me feel like a psycho. I got no control over this thing that makes me fight for survival. Moments up, moments down, go in the bed with a frown. Screaming in a crowded room, but can't no one hear a sound. I admit that I am broken, I've spoken terrible things. My addictions in the real world and still enters my dreams. Man, I've entered a realm and it's a scary place to be. I'm I'm aware of all the evil and all my demons facing me. So basically, I am a broken vessel. I've wrestled and find out that my threshold's twisted like a pretzel. I beat myself up way too much, avoided human touch. My past defines my present and it's got me on the crutch. Huh. Double Dutch, cause you might think I'm playing. I'm saying I got a dragon in my life that needs slaying. I'm craving the wrong things. I worship the wrong king. These memories are haunting and it feels exhausting. I feel like I'm crossing the point of no return. It burns when I give into it. Don't know unless you've been through it. See, you can sympathize, find truth in them lies, but just know that in them lies, pain that'll make it crucified. I crucified myself and made myself my worst enemy. I gave into an addiction that changed my body chemically. See, in the moment it felt heavenly, but little did I know internally was feeding my sub leprosy. I made myself an outcast, self control couldn't outlast. Tried to fight my pain, but I was out fast. And now I'm wearing the cast full of emotional scars. I'm on a roller coaster and it's aiming at the stars. Such a thrilling ride, new things, oohs and odds. If I was a better man, be against losing odds. I've lost more than money, lost time in relationships. Opportunities, thinking about it always makes me sick. The crazy thing is that I am not alone. So many others are prisoners in their own home. We walk like cold drones, made numb by the pain. We function in society and try to look the same. But in the inside, it's a daily civil war. Me, myself, and I, and I don't even know the score. All I know is that I'm losing. Wrong things I find soothing. I can be healed, that's amusing. I had to seek professional advice. My therapist put a name to this monster that I fight. It was two monsters, only took one session. Anxiety and depression, yeah. So I just begun my battle. I'm asking for your prayers, slowly creeping out the shadows. But I see better days. I hope for the future, and I hope to be amazed, amazed, amazed.
Marcus, that was fantastic. Come on over and join me at the intersection of Hollywood and or Broadway. Thanks for being on Steve Gadlin Star Makers. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Of course, it was a real pleasure. So tell me, uh, this was obviously a very personal rap for you. Um, are all of your raps, do they come from such a personal place? Yes, they do. Um, I've been through a lot in life, uh, come out of it a, as a better person. So I want to share my story in hopes that I can help other people. I'm very into positive music, and I hope to send positive vibes to other people and be the person to other people that I wish I had in my life to help lead me down. Sometimes a dark road, and I want to help other people. I love that. That's such a victory, then, to come out here and sing that song for everybody, or rap that rap. What do you call it? Could you, can you say you're singing a song when you're rapping a rap? You can call it that, yeah, but it's it's rapping, yeah. Okay, it's rapping, something totally different, and we loved it. Uh, so tell me, how many other raps have you have you created? Uh, this was in total, I've been rapping for 10 years. I've released four projects. I just, this song, I was a part of a mixtape called Share the Positivity, and I just released it in January. We love it. Well, I wish for great things for you, Marcus. Thanks for being on the show. Stick with us. We'll be right back. I like to show that I like something is by wearing a t-shirt about it. We all have that in common, I suppose. Looks like we're all fans of Steve Gadlin Star Makers. I sure am. I like it so much I bought this t-shirt on their website. Which website again? SGStarmakers.com Walter E. Smith, Marker. Action. Walter E. Smith designers are unbelievable. They'll come to your home, lay everything out. The results will be incredible. At Smith, it's all about making your design vision a reality. The Smith designer will be your expert guide through this whole journey. At Walter E. Smith, our designers help you find what you're looking for. You'll find a look that fits at a price that fits. If you're going to put money into furniture, you ought to get good quality furniture that's going to enhance your lifestyle. Modern luxury, hand-picked, one-of-a-kind pieces. It's all here at Walter E. Smith. Come on down and see us today. You learn by doing. The great thing that you guys do here at Flashpoint is exactly that. I don't think you could be here for too long without the sort of infectious nature of everyone being hungry to learn. Tribeca Flashpoint is set up in a way where the whole direction of the school is preparing the students for the real world. Show people that you're willing to do anything for what you want to do. No fear, no greed, no empathy. Dancing isn't just for exercise and education, it's also a talent that can be fun. Try this, if you're ever feeling sad, down, or depressed, put on some upbeat music and wave your body all around. If you don't smile after a few minutes of that, then I owe you a ham sandwich, you goofball. <laughs> Hold the mayo, extra lettuce. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Here are Emily and Laura from Schmib Dance performing to the song Spider Rope by Teach Me Equals.
Emily and Laura, come join me at the intersection of Hollywood and or Broadway. Thanks for being on Steve Gadlin's Star Makers. You're very welcome. Thank you. That was great. Uh, so I know every good dance tells a story. What's the story of what we watch today? Great question. Well, I would say the story is about uh, meeting someone for the first time and kind of how a new friendship develops. Very cool. I'm going to watch it again and with that in mind. Uh, now I have to ask, there was one move that reminded me of a scene in the movie Titanic. Did that inspire the dance in any way? No. <laughs> Okay, it's when they're on the boat and uh, she's holding over the end. And I thought, oh, that's, I wonder if they're talking about Titanic in the dance. Uh, well, that's great. You know, I think the human body is such a mystery. And one thing dance does is, is help solve that mystery. Yeah, absolutely. Solves the mystery. And what does dancing do for you? Uh, what do you enjoy most about it? Um, I think for me personally, it's a way for me to interact with music as a person that loves music but isn't a musician. Um, it's kind of my uh, relationship with music. That was just a great scene in Titanic, too. It was at a pivotal point of the movie, and I, it's really an iconic uh, image. It was interesting for you guys to bring that back to life for us. Thanks so much for being on Steve Gadlin Star Makers. I hope we see you again. And hey, you, keep on watching. We've got plenty more to come. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> like to show that I like something is by wearing a t-shirt about it. We all have that in common, I suppose. Looks like we're all fans of Steve Gadlin's Star Makers. I sure am. I like it so much I bought this t-shirt on their website. Which website again? SGStarmakers.com You learn by doing. The great thing that you guys do here at Flashpoint is exactly that. I don't think you could be here for too long without the sort of infectious nature of everyone being hungry to learn. Tribeca Flashpoint is set up in a way where the whole direction of the school is preparing the students for the real world. Show people that you're willing to do anything for what you want to do. No fear, no greed, no envy. Well, partner, our train ride is just about done. I hope you've enjoyed this special peek at tomorrow's stars of Hollywood and or Broadway. Don't forget to come back next week for another exciting show. Oh, the acts tonight were really great. Would you look at the time, though it's getting late. I hope to see you next time. See you next time. I hope to see you again. Well, the world is such a scary place And I find peace when I see your face I hope to see you next time See you next time I hope to see you again We're born, then we die And in between is a cacophony of chaos What does it mean? I hope to see you next time See you next time I hope to see you again Yes, I hope to see you again. Remember to dream big and do awesome things. This is Steve Gadlin saying, see you next time. <laughs>